If like me, you've struggled to make the perfect, soft, grainy, restaurant-style basmati rice to enjoy with curry stew or vegetarian dishes, or even would like to use it to make fried rice, here's a simple recipe with useful tips to help ensure we get the perfect rice every time. And no straining required. If you're interested, let's start cooking! And if you want extra long grainy rice, you'll have to start with extra long grain rice. And this is the best brand I've found so far. First, we'll measure out two cups of basmati rice. Basmati or basmati, whatever you call it. One. And two. I'll leave the link below. First, pick out the rice for any brown bits and this one does, did not have any. Next, I'll rinse the rice until the water runs clear about four or five times and save the water for your plants. Also, rinse it gently so you don't break up the grains. As you can see, the water is no longer very cloudy. Now we'll make sure that it's completely submerged by a couple of inches and we'll soak for 20 minutes. With about 10 minutes left on the timer, let's get started on the pot. You'll need a 5.5 or a large pot, a heavy bottom pot or a Dutch oven, non-stick or stainless steel with a tight fitting lid. Place it on your smallest burner or on your medium burner, we can switch it later, and bring it to a boil. Add two cups of water per one cup of rice, basmati rice. I have two cups of basmati rice, so I've added four cups of water. Next, you can add your favorite spices to the water, and this is totally optional if you don't have any. You can add bay leaves, cinnamon stick, cloves, black cardamom, and green cardamom. I'm going to add all of this in. Next, I'll add a teaspoon of salt. And that's Himalayan salt and a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You bring it to a boil over medium high heat or high heat. Once it comes to a rolling boil, and if the timer is not up for your rice, you can reduce it to low. You can also cover the pot to prevent the water from evaporating too quickly. There's one minute left on the timer. I'll give it a last rinse, gentle rinse, and drain, and we'll add it to the pot. Next, we'll add the rice to the pot. I'm gonna raise the heat to high to bring it to a boil. Hi Bixby, set the timer for 25 minutes please. Timer 14 for 25 minutes, starting now. The timer is set. I'll give it a gentle stir. I'll boil for 5 minutes on high. Once it comes to a rolling boil, it's been boiling for about 4 minutes, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium. 19 minutes left on the timer, I have reduced the heat to low. Now that most of the liquid has evaporated and you see bubbles here and the grains of rice are at the top, I'm going to cover it. I have moved the pot to the smallest burner on the lowest heat. We'll cook it another 20 minutes and in this time do not lift the cover. Do not check, do not peek. And the heat is now on low. After 20 minutes, you'll keep the cover on and for another 10 to 20 minutes. And then we'll see the results. Be patient. And the timer is up. Turn off the flame. 
and allow it to sit for 10 to 20 minutes. The moment of truth. Let's take a look at it. It's been sitting for about, let's say, 25 to 30 minutes. I was not in a rush. Let's get a fork. And we'll be very gentle. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Grainy. I'm going to pour it out on a tray so you can see it. Now you can make basmati rice, so basmati rice. Be very gentle. Mmm, tastes amazing too. All right, don't interfere with it too much. Absolutely amazing, very fragrant, very delicious, very soft, yet grainy. Mm. Once it cools, you can use it to make fried rice. And if it's a perfect texture and graininess for you, leave the cover off so it, so it can cool completely. Pick out the spices and enjoy. I'm going to enjoy my rice with some stewed lentils. Check out our full recipe on my channel. I'll leave the link below. It's also on my blog. And that's all they received, my sweet friends, the perfect basmati rice. And in order to get the perfect basmati rice, you've got to buy the right brand of rice, rinse mm, several so times good. until the water runs clear, soak the rice for 20 minutes, use spices and salt for added flavor, do not peak, allow it to sit, fluff, and serve. If you enjoyed today's video or learned something new, please like, share, leave a lovely comment below, and subscribe for more. Until next time, stay safe, be well, Cook, share, and love. Bye-bye.